Welcome to Mount Blanchard, Ohio, home of the Riverdale Falcons, this edition of the Warm Up. Joined now by Mark Fry, head coach of Riverdale. And Mark, we're into camp here a couple of days in. How has everything been going so far? You know, it's been really going great. Uh, it's been, you know, a transition to get back to the high school level, but we've really stepped up to the plate. We have 13 seniors who really took leadership, so it's going real strong right now. It's your first year head coach here at Riverdale, but you've coached in the past. You said you've coached all over. You were in Iowa, Indiana native, and also coached at ONU. How is your previous experience going to help you here at Riverdale? I think ultimately my experience has just helped me become more organized and help me with my time management skills. I've also been able to see the aspect of breaking down film a little bit better from a different standpoint being at college. So I'm hoping that these skills all translate back to the high school level, <clears throat> excuse me, where I originally started. And you coached in all three facets in the game. Where, what area do you think you're bringing your most expertise at the high school level? I think coming back to the high school level, my most expertise is going to be within the offensive realm. Uh, at the college level, I coached mostly defense, but it gave me a, another vision to see how offenses work and where I really stand. Playing in the Blanchard Valley Conference first year in that, in its expanded BVC, a couple of new teams. How do you think you'll fit in, and uh, will there be a learning curve to joining a new conference? You know, there might be a learning curve, but we've played most of these teams in other sports. I think we're, our goal with the conference is just to come in and become a respectable name within the conference. We want people to think that we're good sportsmen, and we come in with a lot of effort and give it all we got. What about during the summer? Were you able to work with the guys before they got into camp, or was there organized team activities, weightlifting? Yes. Uh, when we got here, you know, I got hired right at the end of May, uh, actually about two days before school was out. So I got over here as quickly as I could and tried to meet as many guys as I could. And then we set up our June schedule, which was just lifting. And uh, then we ended up doing our seven on sevens and things like that in July. So we were able to get a lot of work done and get a little bit stronger while we did it. And what are you looking at from the offense this season? What can we expect? Are you guys going to run a spread or more option, or is you know, that still undecided? Uh, we're still trying to figure it out a little bit where our, our identity will be. We still have a little bit of the spread that they ran last year involved just because that's the kind of athletes that we come with. But we'll see a couple different things, I think. And on, what about on the defensive side of the ball? Is, uh, will there be big changes under you as, as opposed to in previous seasons? There won't be a whole lot of changes. We're going to play to more of our skill set, though, more of our body type. So we got a more, you know, we have a couple big guys that we're going to put up front more and probably rotate them a lot more, too, like the college leg game. But uh, ultimately, I think we'll still be playing smart football. So. One and nine last year for this team, and obviously you weren't here. How do you go about getting a winning culture instilled? And do you see it in the guys early on here that there's going to be a change this year? Yeah, it's all about trying to get them to buy in right now. You know, I've come in since the day and we just say, hey, you got to get better every single day, win that day, and just in anything you do, whether it's you're doing a test, you, you know, you're going to practice, you're taking a, um, your trash out. You just got to win the day and everything you got to do. So I think our guys are really bought in, especially our seniors. Like I said, having 13 seniors has been a blessing for a new coach coming in. I didn't have to go find leaders. They stepped up right to the plate and took advantage of the team. So. Yeah, what about the senior class? Is it a tight-knit group? And, and you mentioned they're doing a great job leading. What are some examples of that? Just, you know, whenever, we, like, for example, Saturday it rained, and we didn't want to take off, so we wanted to go into the gym. All, every senior made sure that their car was full of guys that would drive over to the other gym right away. And uh, with our fundraiser, our seniors right now are leading their fundraiser and selling their cards. So ultimately I think that those little things is what we've seen them step up and take advantage of and really lead this team the most. Yeah, essential part of setting the tone early on. What are some of the team goals, if, if you can be you know, specific about them this season? Is there a specific thing that you're trying to accomplish early on? Yeah, I mean, we're not really talking wins and losses right now just because that's not the team we are. We're talking about winning the day, like I said, and getting better every day. But really, you know, again, with the conference and with our non, one non-conference game, we're really focused on how do we become a, a respectable team? What kind of identity can we create within our games? Are we going to be known for a team that's going to be soft and not do anything? Or are we going to be known for a team that's going to step up and, to the challenge and attack you and play a good game? Is there anybody on your schedule that you're looking forward to playing? I know Riverdale and Arlington have had a rivalry going way yeah. back, and is that a game that you think the guys are looking forward to? I think they're fired up for that game, uh, but I think they're fired up for almost every game right now. You know, we got a lot of excitement. It seems like a new energy within the team. The parents are really excited too, so we got them on board. And I think really every game is going to be an exciting new challenge for us. You guys opened up on the road at Cardington Lincoln, but before that, there's a uh, three-way scrimmage with Perry and St. Wendelin. 
What are you hoping to get out of the scrimmage and see your guys against some other competition? That's exactly what we're – we just want to see what they'll do in the face of another opponent. You know, right now it's easy to hit your buddy because you know how good he is or how bad he is, and you just want to make sure that right now we got to prepare for the next opponent and be ready to hit someone else when they're in another color jersey. Has there been – a specific player or a group of players, maybe a position set that has surprised you with their work ethic or ability coming into camp that you weren't maybe expecting? Yeah, I mean, I'm not really surprised too much about their work ethic and things like that, but I am really happy with the way our quarterbacks have picked up the terminology and our defense as a whole, the way we've picked up our terminology. You know, a lot of the stuff I'm bringing to the table are things that I've learned at the college level. And those guys have two weeks in camp to figure it out, and they're only doing football all day. We got three hours. And so our guys have really stepped up and picked it up pretty quickly, and I've been pleased with that. Yeah, you got to cram a lot into a lot less yeah. time, but that, that involves a good work ethic. And what do you expect of your guys every time they step on the field? I told them when I first met them that it's not a cocky thing, but we want to step out there and think we're the best players on the field. And that just so it carries over into the drill that you'll hit harder, that you'll run faster. And I just want them to have that confidence. Even if they get knocked down the play before, I want them to get up and say, yeah, he maybe just got lucky. You know, we're going to be better than them. Riverdale hoping to be better than their opponents all season long. Thanks to head coach Mark Fry for sitting down with us. Time for a break on the warm-up. But coming up, we'll talk to a couple of those Riverdale Falcon players. when Mark Koontz joins us next. Welcome back to the warm-up at Riverdale High School. I'm Mark Kuntz, joined now by three Falcon senior football players, Luke Bowman, Grant Loveridge, and Josh Bushong down on the end. And first off, let's start with you, Josh. What's it been like with the new head coach? Well, obviously it's been a little bit different last year. Uh, that's going to be the case when you get a new coach. But there's been a lot of change, uh, change for the good, obviously, hopefully. And uh, we're just looking forward to seeing what this year brings, working hard, and uh, hopefully having a better season than last year. Grant, Coach uh, Fry, straight out of college, uh, was coaching in college, obviously, last year at Ohio Northern, had great success with the Polar Bears, particularly in the secondary. As one of the safeties, does he bring something extra then to the secondary? Uh, yeah, you know, he brings a ton of energy. It's great. Uh, he gets everybody motivated and just uh, making big plays. We really love it. Luke, what have you seen from the new coaching staff? Um, I like it really a lot. And, uh, on the defensive end, so Coach Bruno and Coach Jack will specialize on the defensive line, and I think they really know what they're talking about with the moves we're doing and uh, our new playbook, and I really think it's going to be a good year. How many coaches from last year stayed on the staff, or is it a whole new staff? Um, I, this is my first year playing football, so um, I don't know. I have to ask one of those two. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, what, what did you guys take to get Luke to come out and play football then? Yeah, well, didn't We had to talk him into it, but it didn't take too much. He He wanted to be here, I think. And Josh, you know, Coach was talking about 13 seniors, a good group of seniors providing leadership. Uh, well, what are some of the ways that uh, you guys have done that, and how are you guys kind of relying on each other to, to be a backbone for this new program? Uh, well, we've, all, uh, we've always had good participation in my grade. We've had quite a few numbers, and uh, we've just really been trying to work hard, uh, set an example by, by leading by example, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, we, we like to... Um, really try to get that nucleus, get that Falcon pride in um, our practices, and you, you practice like you play. So if we work hard out here, we should uh, have some pretty good results on the field. Josh, does, does it feel kind of weird not to be preparing for Arlington at this point? Do you be worrying about Cardington-Lincoln? Uh, yeah, that's a little bit different. Uh, usually this year we focus on Arlington, the Red Devils. You know, they're a pretty good team, and we respect them. So we're really, um, it's going to be a little different this year looking out for Cardington, but we'll still have Arlington. Looking forward to Arlington. Yeah, Grant, you get Arlington now week five. Tell me about uh, your thoughts going into the Blanchard Valley Conference. I mean, you guys have played a lot of these teams before in non-conference. You're familiar with them. Now you're fully in the BVC. Is that an exciting season of change now for Riverdale? Yeah, it's a good change, you know. Uh, playing Arlington middle of the season, hopefully both teams are at their best and we make it a good game, you know. Uh, I really like the BVC schedule, and I hope we can contend pretty well. Luke, a few weeks away from the opener, what do you guys need to do the most between now and then to prepare for that week one game? Um, I think we just need to focus, like towards the end of the practice. I think we need to focus and uh, really get our plays down and 
we've been doing that really good so far, and hopefully we can continue that throughout the season, and we can get mentally tough, and our seniors can bring up our squad, and hopefully we can uh, reduce like the young guys and see if we can get them going. All right, we're going to take a break here on the warm-up. When we break the huddle, we'll hear from more Falcon players here on W. Welcome back to the warm-up at Riverdale High School, joined now by three more Falcon seniors, Austin Searfrost, Evan Hayes, and Ryan Cole. And Austin, you're one of the receivers and cornerbacks. Uh, we know we're going to stick with the, the spread offense this year because that's kind of been what you guys have played the last several seasons. That's an offense that really gets the receivers involved. You, you enjoy having that type of offense here? Uh, yes, I enjoy run the spread a lot more. And we do go back to the eye and uh, run a few more plays out of that. But mainly spread sometimes. Evan, what do you see out of uh, Grant, your senior quarterback this year? Uh, you know, I see a lot of good things. You know, Grant's a good quarterback. He's smart. And, you know, we got a good we got a good group. So uh, looking to make some good plays out of him. Ryan, tell us a little about what the we can expect out of both the offensive and defensive line for Riverdale. Well, the uh, offensive and defensive line, they've been working really hard off season and post pro season, whatever, preseason, my bad. <laughs> um, Really, we just use a lot of teamwork on the line, calling out our gap over, just man over, stuff like that. Helps us get our blocking down, helps make plays. How are things different? And we'll, we'll start with you, Ryan. How are things different this summer with Coach Fry? Um, just we've been coming together more as a team, I think. A lot of us seniors have sort of banded together and tried to lead this team the best we can. Evan, were there any changes in the uh, the conditioning or the, the weight room routine at all? Uh, yeah, we we condition a little more, but uh, you know I think it's good. It's gonna be good for us because a lot of times last year we were just tired by the second half, and I mean we need to get our conditioning up, and Coach Fry is really helping us with that. Austin, what games are you looking forward to this year? Uh, I'm just excited for the whole season, just all of them. Do you guys looking forward to, to seeing some new opponents uh, from weeks uh, ten, two through ten in the BVC? Yeah, I mean, BVC is shorter bus rides, so that's always good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys had some long bus rides previously. What did you guys do to, to kill time on those long rides? Just listen to music, get pumped, you know, whatever you got to do. Ryan, what uh, what area of this team needs to improve the most between now and in the week one game? Um. I'd probably say our conditioning and focus aspect, once we get tired out there at practice, we start messing up on plays. So that's something we need to work on, and we'll get better at that and we'll be ready for the season. Ryan, after just a couple of practices, what do you feel the best about on this team? Uh, our aspect of teamwork. We're a team out here, and we show it. Same question for you, Evan. Uh, you know, the team, everybody's coming together, banding together, and, you know, we all we all want to do good this year. We want to do great. You know, senior year, 13 seniors. I think we're gonna do pretty good, and you know, it's gonna be fun. All right, that's gonna do it for us today on the warm up. From Riverdale High School. Thank all of our guests for Matt Fickle. I'm Mark Hoots. We'll see you next time on W. -S 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 -